Welcome traders to another Tickmill Weekly Market Outlook for a week commencing the 6th of June with me Patrick Mundley. Uh, moving to the data calendar on Tuesday we get US April trade balance looking for a negative $89.2 billion print there. Deficit is likely to remain wide on demand and inventory rebuild. We also get April consumer credit looking for a 32.8% print there. Uh, credit growth slowing from historically elevated levels. Then heading into Wednesday, we get April wholesale inventories. Final estimate for the month, restocking at a robust pace, so that we should see a 2.1% print there. And then on Thursday, initial jobless claims, 200k expected, and expected to remain at low levels for an extended period of time. Then we round out the week in the US with May CPI, looking for a 0.7% print there, versus a 0.3% print last time out, and your inflation looks to have potentially crested in the US. And then we finish the week up with uh, June University of Michigan sentiment, <clears throat> looking for a 58.9 versus a 58.4 print last time. Inflation and rate concerns still front of mind for that reading. From a technical perspective, dollar index, we are tracking this potential wave four structure so whilst we hold support at the 101 level, we're looking for a fifth wave extension up into a minimum upside objective of 106.16. At this stage, any breach of the 101 on a closing basis would actually set up a move down to test trend channel support to the 9890s. Moving to the Eurozone, and in terms of data, quiet again, like the US, um, Tuesday, we get June Centex Investor Confidence, looking for a negative 21.7 print there. Outlook remains clouded by conflict in uh, Russia and Ukraine. And heading into Wednesday, we get Q1 final read GDP, looking for a 0.3% print there. Uh, final estimate really to confirm a slow start to 2022 in the Eurozone. Then importantly on Thursday, we get the ECB policy decision. As, uh, end of asset purchases look likely to be on the table. Uh, rates expected to remain at 0% and focus is really going to be on forecasts and forward guidance. And that rounds out the data in, uh, in the Eurozone. So from a technical perspective, Euro continues to test trend channel resistance here. Uh, any breach of the 106 handle would confirm a potential wave for a high and send us down looking for a move towards parity. At this stage, we need to see a close through trend channel resistance to set up a deeper corrective move to test symmetry swing resistance up to the 109.09 level. And heading to the UK, uh, Tuesday, we get uh, S&P Global Services PMI looking for 51.8% uh, 51.8 print there. That's the final estimate for the month. And uh, that rounds out really a very light data week in terms of the UK. So from a technical perspective, looking at the sterling dollar here, there are a couple of scenarios I'm tracking at this stage. And one is the potential to carve out an inverse head and shoulders pattern here. So as we maintain support into that 124 handle, we could see an extension up to test 129. Alternatively, if we fail to hold the uh, 124 as support, then I'll be looking for a move back down to test cycle lows and monthly projected range support and trend channel support coming into the 121. And then obviously we're looking at that 120 test below. So it's going to really be pivotal to see whether cable can get back through this trend line resistance in the 126.30s. Heading to Japan and on Tuesday, April household spending looking for a negative 0.5% print there. Rising costs and weaker incomes are really starting to squeeze spending in Japan. And then on Wednesday in Japan, we get the uh, first quarter GDP final print, looking for a negative 0.3%. Small revision expected in the final estimate for Q1. And that rounds out the data in Japan. So from a technical perspective, we got the test of that 126.30, 126.20 area that we were looking for last week, and we have the upside extension underway. So I'm looking now for a move back through uh, the potential wave three high here. Let's just get ourselves uh, a target for this um, move. We are looking at a, just change the template there. Okay, so the minimum upside objective for the wave five 
target is 132.50s up to a potential 134.20 and monthly projected range resistance 133.60s. And rounding out the week down under in Australia, data uh, Monday, May, uh, MI inflation gauge looking for 3.4% uh, print last time out. Inflation above the bounds and intense pressures mounting really in 2022. Then on Tuesday, all important RBA policy decision looking for uh, rates to be bumped up to 0.75%. Back-to-back -back rate hikes and debate on likely size of a move in July, uh, the main focus of attention there. And that rate really rounds out the, the data slate uh, down under in Australia. From a technical perspective, whilst we hold uh, the 73 handle as resistance, I'm looking for a deeper corrective move back into test the 70 cents level. Now from there, we could set up a inverse head and shoulders scenario and get a further leg to the upside to test into that trend channel resistance just above the 74. However, if we fail to find uh, to maintain support at the 70 level, we still have that downside objective, the equality target down to 6640s. And that concludes the weekly market outlook for week commencing June 6th. As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next time, thanks very much.